Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to another episode of Killer Killer Lab Podcast. Podcast. My name is Tony Deppel, Florida Tony D. As usual, I am joined with Chris Leto from so Reaper Film. So sad. Yes, because <laughs> I was like, introducing you. As usual. As usual. Oh. This motherfucker has been here for over two years oh, now. <laughs> he's a permanent... Look at Joe. What is Joe doing? He's, he's... What are you... I don't know. I'm pointing at myself, pointing at myself. <laughs> ah, okay. No, we can't see that. And Mr. Joe Davison sitting on the couch. Oh, there it is, there it is. Well, there's what? I was, uh, I did a selfie of me, taking a selfie of me in the cameras of them here, there. Uh, the, you mean the monitor? Yeah, that's it. The monitor. Man, you know. Monitor. Monitor. I think, uh. Don't get lost in the maze. Right? I think Tony's mad at me. Why? Uh, or he's like sick of me borrowing his shit. Uh, oh, why? Because whenever I make a movie, I'm like, hey, Tony, can I borrow your batteries? Can I borrow your lights? Can I borrow your boom pole? And then, like, the last time I said, hey, can I borrow your wireless things? And he sent me a link to buy them. So, <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. So, like, All right. Hey, I'm excited because of our guest who's talking to himself, I think, over there. Uh, I, I'm, I'm excited. I, I didn't realize. I, uh, anyways, without uh, any further ado, uh, I shall introduce our next guest, Adam Ardix of Ardix Entertainment. Hello! Uh, uh, hey, how welcome you doing? Welcome to the show. Welcome, Mr. welcome, welcome. Adam Ardix. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Hello, everybody. I'm Adam Ardix from Ardix Entertainment. I make video games. <laughs> Adventure Quest, Dragon Table, Mad Quest, Adventure Quest 2D, the upcoming Adventure Quest World Unity. Nice. We'll have a full list at the end of the show as it goes on for hours. I don't know what he's so saying. Other game names you haven't heard of? Oh. Well. When did you start making games? Um. Better question. All right. When did I meet you? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, 2009. 2009. Maybe 2010. Maybe okay. earlier than that because I knew Brian Cars. Yep. He, he built my home. Yeah, he, I met him. The most interesting man on the planet. He was planet. building my Chairman set. Platinum. He's more oh, interesting wait, than wait, the Dosecki. He introduced me to you. He he me to you, you. You brought a, a bunch of, like, it was the most important I've ever felt. You brought a bunch of film people. Film people yeah. They were, like, making movies over to my house to watch something. Like, a short, like, everybody had these, like, short films. Okay. And, um, like, all these, like, famous, like, Local people were in my, my home. And I'm like, I'm important here with these people. Are they famous or local? Because they're not both. Well, some are. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Joe, you were on uh, Stranger Things. Yeah, well, thank you. I was. <coughs> yeah. I was. Were, you, were you on that show? Oh, so never heard of it. Come on. Never heard of it. Oh, we all know. We all know what? Would you say you're famous, Joe? No. Uh, no? Yeah, no. because in my studio. For like a decade now, we've had a poster of his movie uh, Frostbite, funniest zombie frost film name of all time. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Came to me in that vision. Of- I think your character on Stranger Things is famous. More famous than I am, but, the actor. Yeah, exactly. Well, so, so it's like, hey, you know, Joe Davidson was on Stranger Things too. And they're like, who? who? I'm like, you know, the dead. scientist with the big dead. glasses. And they're like, oh, yeah. The dogs. <laughs> four of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that guy. guy. Yummy. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, you know, the other day, it wasn't not too long ago, I was in Target. And uh, I ran this, I was in the back aisle where all the horror figures mm-hmm. are now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have uh, Evil Dead oh. Ash figures back there. Yeah. I know. They just keep they, they making them. I keep them buying them. I know, they did. Yeah, I, I got I all the fucking NECAs, and I'm like, son of a bitch, yeah, they came out with a new one. Like <laughs> Are you guys all even dead Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm, I'm not the... Ah, I'm not the remake. I don't like... I don't... Sorry, it doesn't have Ash. Oh, the remake, remake was shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. My daughter's named after her. Ash? Mia. Mia. Yeah. All right, well... Sorry, but the movie was fault. still shit. Yeah. It's okay, we can get I like the movie. I don't know. Ugh. You would. I like that. Uh, I don't know. I mean... But, well, uh, anyways, more importantly, back to me and Stranger Things. <laughs> um, <clears throat> no, so, Adam, so, so I was on this airplane. No, I want to hear your Target story. Let's finish oh, it. Sorry, what? That's what I thought. Yeah, you're in Target looking at the toys, and? And uh, this couple is there, too. And uh, 
we start talking about uh, the toys and shit, and they start talking about Stranger Things. And I have Mia with me, and Mia goes, my daddy was in uh, Stranger Things. And they looked out at her and looked up at me, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then they looked me up on Google, and, and she was just like, oh my god, I'm so sorry for not recognizing you. I was like, why would you be sorry for not recognizing me? Right. Like, why are you apologizing <laughs> that I'm not famous enough to be noticed? You should be, ma'am. You should be sorry. Did they ever make a Funko also, Pop of your can character? Also, you buy me this thirty-five dollar figure because I <laughs> have been a trade thing for three years. Right. <laughs> Did they ever make a pop of you of your? No. Thing? Why not? I don't know. That sucks. I'm not important. It was a pretty. You didn't be the guy in the elevator. Here's here. the thing, though. It was a pretty. I mean, obviously, the role wasn't like I, I very think, prominent, I but people know that character. Here's what. Here's what sucks is my agent at the time quit a week after I got the game. Uh, and I didn't have an agent. So you couldn't and get I think promotion what and shit was, going. Right. I think what happened was... That sucks. There's a whole scene later on in, in the season uh, where... Um, dun, dun, dun. Where they're in the lab again. And there's a whole scene in there with, uh, with uh, Paul Reiser and mm-hmm. David Harbour. And Nerdy Tech and the Radar Girl were not in there. And I think, like, because I remember I was, I got, she called me out of the blue and she said, Hey, they want you to come back up for like a couple of days. They want they're doing some videos. I said, Yeah, let's do it. I never heard from her again. And that's because she started acting and just kind of dropped the ball. So she quit, like, representing you or quit, yeah, she quit being an agent? agent. She quit. Jeez, so when you did or did not get toys at Target? I didn't. Okay, we're gonna fix that right now. <laughs> what happened? Oh man, what, I want toy. yeah. toys. Hey, oh, hi. Toys. Hi. Oh man, <laughs> Scott Real, folks. Scott Real, this is how we make our money now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know who this guy is, but he brought right. toys. Right. We like toys. <laughs> oh man. Oh no. Oh, no. Okay. Usually we develop our guests there, before the antics. <laughs> 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 Oh, he it's needs a microphone. It's, it's beautiful. It's to his left. Or it's to his right. Here, we'll talk like that. Okay, this is awesome. Dark Dog. Now, look at all the stuff I made. Buck. I feel I like you're a magician. magician. Are you a magician? Yes. Okay. Watch me pull a bundle out of your ear. Right. What? Ah! Okay. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? So, oh, I know these. Twilly. I know these because I saw... These in their pre stage some time oh, yeah. ago when I was at your office. Right. I remember you showed this time. were there when I had the, I was drawing the card the card game. Game. Yeah. That's when I came in and said, How about Stranger Things? <laughs> I had a, a little one. I had two now. No, two, two. Yeah, I have Alexa who's seven and Isabella who's uh, about eight months old. See, I thought that was great. He keeps that, just popping them out. Well, no, she keeps it. popping them out. So yeah. yeah. She keeps Aww. donating. <laughs> can, can they buy these? At, where can we buy these? Um, the models. We have an online store called HeroMart.com. HeroMart.com. That is that's where all of our art is. L- link so in the description. description. We, uh, all these things come with a new Right. Oh, man. And then I think if, you know, if you want to beat it's kind of like gremlins, if you let them out yeah. and off, they're terrible. Right, they get wet. And... So, this is, I, I thought, you know, you're, you're already kind of wearing loose, maybe you want to oh. use sort of that. Oh, alright. Let's do it. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. oh, that totally works for you. Yeah. Oh, I got them for you too, guys. Here, here. Oh, this is great. Nice. great. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man, <laughs> this is right. fantastic. <laughs> That's awesome! Alright! Yeah! They come with these, uh, Okay, so we can, the girls can play online? Alright, now, nice. for a decade, I've had your movie poster in right. my office. Right. Until we painted the wall and that's something you didn't come down. <laughs> <laughs> so, Permanently I agree. figured you should have some posters. Okay, please. Okay. I don't either. This is like, this is becoming a different show now, guys. 
Can we, can we just get guests to make toys now? I know, right? <laughs> oh, dude! Nope. Look at that! Oh, wow. I'm Alan hanging closer for the rest of the show. This is from Adventure Quest 3D, which is our cross-platform massive multiplayer game. I'll just be back here. Very nice. Um, this is from the Dragon of the Patch Hall. This is a Dragon Slayer's poster. Um, this game is one of those... Um, you build a world that you can log into and make money, so you yeah. play it on your PC, and you play it on a stone, you play it on a tablet, and all along My daughters love that. They're all mobile on tablets. I mean, my, my daughter Mia as well. I have three daughters. <laughs> three daughters, but really, I have three daughters, yeah. but I've only had two. <laughs> He's a very confusing man. He's a very confusing man. Joe hasn't had any. He's created yeah. the no. two. Right. They're all that <laughs> I live in a hole. Now, do I put the headphones on the, the ears of this thing? Of, uh, oh, nice. That's, uh, do, do I do that? Uh, I feel like I look like Steve Martin. Oh, yeah, Tommy. You don't have to hang these up. I brought, I brought, my, my daughter, Mia, is the oldest daughter. Uh, then I have Alexa. So, when I said two, I meant physically two. But I have three numbers. And the song. And back to the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, James, hey, Joe. I'm losing up. Joe, where do babies come from? I don't know. <laughs> Look at all these cool video game posters. Oh, yeah. Is that a Reaper? When a mommy podcaster loves a daddy podcaster <laughs> very much. <laughs> so this, now is our, this, oh, this is our, our 2000 and uh, like, is it 22. Yeah. That's I said it's 2022. So what happens is, yeah. well, if you do this, you do this calendar on this side, right? Oh, you hang it up and it has all the days on it. And then at the end of the year, this isn't any good anymore. Why don't you just flip it over? And this one, this is ever. Oh, that is so smart. What, what game is that from? What game is that from? Who designed this? Um, we, we What's have, her name? <laughs> we have so many talented artists on well, this. I was going to say, yeah, because you have a ton of people. We have so many talented and it's like every time I meet them, they're all cute. <coughs> What's your biggest I'm game? Asian, you said they're really cute girls. They love me. What's your biggest game? Like your most popular? Right now, the artist entertainment was like Pie Chart, Adventure Quest Worlds, is for Pac Man. Like, it's um, it's a massively multiplayer two D game where you create a very highly customizable. You can multi-class between like 100 classes. Yeah, it was awesome. It was originally in Flash. Um, I played it when it was in Flash. Yeah, that's the so, <laughs> so the, 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 the Flash is dead. Um, uh, 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 we had all the talented characters. Or between the actual... all of our games of the past 20 years, we've had uh, over 200 million pounds created. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's not like 200 million. People. Yeah, but like, yeah, but that's, that's like, like $200 million. million. Yeah. Yeah. But um, Adventure Quest Worlds... Um, Do people get banned? We don't want them to, but it happens. It does happen? Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I wasn't sure. <clears throat> yeah. Been because that would be a reason why people would make multiple accounts. This is Star Wars Parody, and this is um, some more Dark Horn stuff. Dark Horn, these, these are a rising star. He's been writing... Oh, we should stuff. hang one of these up in here. Where? I don't know. We don't have walls. You have to get up on my back. This one, you just turn it around and it's uh, very uh, therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very calming. Yeah. Do you like Manga Horror? Yeah. Like, um, this is awesome. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, oh, God, I'm thinking. Um, Manga Horror? Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Can I do that to me? I don't know. I don't know who you're talking yeah, about. horror, everybody. <laughs> Whatever. Is it anime horror? Or is it like normal horror? I don't know if you get anime horror. Alright. 
Or here. Oh, you still got more stuff because you have all these. Uh, you know, all the girls are just. This is an older book. This came from like 2000. This doesn't have a new artist in it. This is the book of all of our. Did you just like them? <laughs> <laughs> We get the fight next. <laughs> <laughs> we go into the fight segment. Yeah, yeah, we go right into the ring. Anyways, this has like the stories and stuff about our artists. So. That's beautiful. This is great. Uh, would you be uh, angry if my daughter's colored this? No, please. I'd be honored. All right, by that I meant she's going to have a black color. Well, that's how bad he colored it. Yeah, I colored it. Uh, <laughs> color, so bad he plays by the kid. I'm really good at coloring. Yeah, okay. Really good. So I have, I have another one, but we'll come back. Okay. Oh, you can't just leave us hanging. <laughs> well, Shh. It's story time. Yay. Do so you know Sabrina Vizari? Yes. Yeah. Is that a person? She's I, I thought you just cast a spell. No. Sabrina <laughs> Vizari. <laughs> no. Oh, amazing. Oh, she remember from back in the day? She, 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 she's amazing. Yeah, I told you, Linda is one of our biggest fans. She's not an artist, though. Oh, she was, um, in the history of like, she's not cute. Super <laughs> cute. <laughs> she's not cute. So Everybody I asked my kid cute. who you were, and he said uh, her mom's friend, Sabrina, used to work for him, and I tested their game. Oh, all right. His mom? My son. He tested his mom's. <laughs> oh, okay. My son tested your I game. Oh, we call that dipsticking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to test. Welcome to the body shop. Um, <laughs> Rolling right back. <laughs> well, you you knew we get off topic every once in a while. <laughs> I, I, I heard rumors. <laughs> this October, um, we're gonna be celebrating this twenty October. years of building video games. Right? Twenty years, dude. That's so amazing. Years. Not just building video games. Twenty years of updating them every single week. Wow. For twenty years, the original Adventure Quest, the one that started it all, yeah, has been updated every week. For and that's a lot. That, that's a lot. We don't take holidays off. We don't take what? I know. It's great. I Saturday know. Night Live takes breaks. So he's basically you a sweatshop. <laughs> <laughs> you outsource to like the Philippines? Is that what you do? Outsource? That's right. The Philippines of Boots, Florida. I'm right, right here in the USA. <laughs> <laughs> his, uh, his office is like a dungeon. <laughs> but but every chains he walks everybody. around with a whip. Everyone's <laughs> last. You can see everybody. He oh, just yeah. Looks, he lives in this glass. Castle. He's just like, what? <laughs> Why are you not working? <laughs> so far, this is kind of the other way around. <laughs> you see me in there like, get back to work. What are you doing? Stop doing these podcasts. <laughs> okay, Eyes on your, your monitor. <laughs> so how big is your staff right now? Oh, it's tiny. Oh, That's <laughs> personal. <laughs> not that staff. Also tiny. Oh, oh come yeah. on, Grandpa. Put it back on your head. It's I'm hot. flying. You know I get so, hot in this fucking place. I um, know <laughs> I get hot in here. I complain pretty much every week about it. You had that office down in uh, where the office is. <laughs> <laughs> you just we, we call it the secret underground lab. Right. Okay. And it's on the <clears> second floor. <throat> yeah. It's and the underground lab, but it's upstairs. <laughs> it's a gale hitter up. And then that's um, what's confusing. Right now, uh, here in like local to Tampa, we have. I don't even know. It's like 32, 34 or something. Um, because when the pandemic happened, <clears throat> Alina and I, were, we were watching what was happening in China in January of 2000. Yeah. Out of 20. And uh, we made a plan that if this thing hit the States, it was really serious, which we didn't know at the time. Nobody did. Um, but we would enact a plan to get everybody working from home. So in March of 2020, uh, we sent everybody to, to work remotely. And... Mm -hmm. Once we did that, um, it, it was really hard at, at first. <clears throat> Some people, basically, if you had kids, it was like hard mode. Yeah. And if you were like single, it was like it a dream apartment. Yeah. yeah. And it did hurt uh, a lot of the creativity. There's these things I think that happen when you're yep. in person. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I really wanted to be here in person with you guys. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's great. Thank you. We yeah, prefer in you're person a mistake too. now. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you, you got to get that whole collaboration period where people bounce ideas off each other with a yeah. person. Oh, is that what happens? <laughs> Not in this room, but you know. <laughs> you, you know, I think there's um there's a human element. So we you know we, we have the entire office. We have a, like a team, right? We have like a hundred plus of us who are all on a Discord server, 
and they're all contributors well, and team members and contractors and people that build the games. Mm-hmm. And uh, being in chat's really, really great. You can't really replace that being a No. You, you need no. the, the, the improvness of the moment. Of conversation. So, I'm, I'm, proud. conversation. I'm so proud to say when we brought everyone back to the office, we had like five people come in every day. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> so you, we, we have somebody coming uh, for a special tour. Thank you for doing this uh, yeah. that morning. Well, thank you we for have somebody being here. coming for a tour uh, to, um, uh, we get the you know, player guests to come visit the lab every once in a while. It used to be awesome because it just be like, Everywhere. Yeah. And now it's like, hi, come and sit in this room where all five of us are huddled because for safety. In the one, one office. office. It, there have been Under days where twenty offices. First, we're like everybody gets their own office, right? Like everybody. Right. And then we realized there was like more than one office per person. And then we were actually started fighting for territories. Like I own this wing. Right. Because right. it's just a bunch of dead space. I don't know what we're gonna do in the future. Yeah. Well. How many total employees do you have? Well, there's employees, contractors, and contributors. So employees are uh, full time. They have to live in Florida, and then contractors uh, live remotely, right? So they can yeah. be in other parts of the United States or Canada, etc. And then we have contributors who uh, build things um, and build them on piecemeal. Mm. And uh, that's been kind of informal because a lot of contributors kind of you know prove themselves, right. and then kind of move on to being contractors. And sometimes we move people down. Although I'm not sure how that's going to change in the future because with all five of us going to the office now. Right. <laughs> So when you had everybody go remotely, did you have to um, get them new systems, new new computer systems to no, we, operate? We, we all worked on laptops. So well, yeah. when everybody left the office, the lab was a ghost town. Uh, nothing there. We all worked on laptops. Yeah. Well, gaming laptops. What's your uh, choice of uh, gaming laptop? I I really really I uh, love the Asus the, the RG. Yep. I got the I, <laughs> you know my once in a decade. Um, <laughs> By once in every couple of years, laptop upgrade, I got the one with the little like, secondary screen. Mm-hmm. It's like a main screen, it's got a secondary screen. Yep, in the center. And uh, I, I love that thing. Oh, yeah. I also like it. It has two screens on a laptop? Yes. Why? And like, it, it's down at the bottom, so you can just drag stuff down. And then like, we'll auto-dock stuff. So you can put like, Discord down there and work up here. You can put your timeline for community yep. down there like work up here. Oh, it's, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So how long does it take to develop a game from... Concept to release. You started when he was twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you about a lot. Right? You started like in your garage. You guys want the story? Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's hear it. Yeah. That's why you're here. here. We yeah. want to know who you are. Any of my viewers, right? They, they've heard this so many times. Like, oh, here he goes again. Yeah. But for you guys, I grew up a poor black boy. <laughs> <laughs> That was a poor white boy, thank you very much. Yeah. Well, we just got, see, hear that? The sound of us being canceled again. I was just doing the jerk. We've been canceled, what, 10, 15 times? Maybe. I don't know about yeah, canceled. Continue, sorry. <laughs> well, my, my, um, my father, when I was young, he, he was, he, he did some really ambitious things, and I, I got to watch him kind of go from, like, you know, my mom had me when I think they were uh, 16, 17. Mm-hmm. And, um, Pretty rough when I was little, like and stuff. And then my father, uh, he went. Um, he didn't get his high school diploma, but he went to um, uh, learn real estate after he was working his pop shop, burned down twice. And then uh, we started moving around. He had a soda shop. Pop shop. So my my like grandfather owned a pop. Yeah. Okay. Like you That's know, awesome. pop and beer distributor. Okay. So I drank a lot of Pepsi. Yeah. And, uh, Still. One of Really? <laughs> but I can imagine you drinking anything other than like so one of the big jokes was like when, when I was little, my mom would work at the pop shop. Um, a Pepsi crate was what she put me in, so it's the blanket of Pepsi mm. crate. And they, they don't have the life. The, all the Pepsi I could drink. Right. I grew up in a Pepsi crate. crate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never drank water. I just drank a Pepsi and orange juice. Oh. Jeez. So then yeah. I would. Um, I, what's your insides look like? You are Iron Man. You've been replaced with that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you actually died years ago. It's the Android Adam. It's a glitch. That Necronomicon paying off. Right. It's a self-help book. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, dude. Sorry. So, anyways, my, my father went and uh, when he was selling houses, he met um, this guy who um, uh, talked about the genetic uh, breeding of cattle. He's like, I, I could sell that. So he goes and he starts this business. Uh, and the goal was they were going to feed the world. They were going to produce enough milk that they could feed the world. 
and like all great ideas, uh, the science maybe wasn't um, <laughs> interesting. But as my, my father was doing this, um, he started this company and they, they got a computer, right? They got computers for the company. One of them fell off the truck in, into our house. And I, oh, I took yeah. it up to my room. It was actually for them to work on, but I, I took it up to my, my room. Um, and that was... That's how I get my sneakers. They fell off the truck. trucks and into my house. <laughs> yeah. That was when um, I found the Earth's so basic interpreter in the DOS directory. What does that uh, mean? It's, uh, like, you are an Android. Make programs and do okay. stuff. So that's how you started. So By I started actually, you stole a computer off the truck. That's right. <laughs> two, two, two years before that, though, um, the Nintendo Entertainment System came out. Ooh. Did you have one? No. I did. NES. Yeah. So back, you, you were on Stranger Things, and you had that, that Twizzler. It wasn't a Twizzler, what was it? Redline. Okay, so I love Redline. had a Redline. Yeah. And the Redlines came out in 85. Yes. Me so too. The <laughs> first Nintendo. Why do you know that? That uh, Red Vines came out in 85. This is his life That's story. That's a strange That's fact awesome. to know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Nintendo Entertainment System. He's actually here in the file right now. In 1985. Like, <laughs> what is this? Yeah. He's just like a scanner. I was like, oh. The Nintendo hit it big in 1986. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, my family wasn't doing well enough to, to get anything yet, right? Yeah, yeah I didn't get anything yesterday. But I had this friend who lived down the road, and his dad was building houses. And this kid had everything. He had a Nintendo, he had a computer in his room, he had this like energy ball thing with like the, the oh, yeah. electricity to zap your Is that what you used to kill him with? <laughs> <laughs> Let's pull up the juice! <laughs> You're like, I will rule the world! Pull up the juice! Speechless. He's like, how did he know? <laughs> so, I lie to that kid! <laughs> the murder weapon has been found. <laughs> it's in him! I would go to his house and sit on his couch and watch him play. We would take turns, right? Yeah. But I would die in like two seconds and he'd play for like two hours. And My wife would have to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh! <laughs> So, so Castlevania had um, come out, uh -huh. <laughs> right? And uh, I, I, I found my, my true love. There was nothing I wanted to do more in life than slay the evil on that. Because they had all the movie monsters. They had Frankenstein. They had the werewolf. They had uh, they had Dracula. And, yeah, Castlevania. Yeah, yeah. And Castlevania Two was getting ready to release, and um, I, I couldn't stop talking about it. Like, it, I just, I sat there dreaming and salivating over <laughs> oh, yeah. Castlevania Two. So my, my same friend and I. We went out to uh, my for lunch with my parents. What's your lineage? Just a question. Just a question. Ooh, what? No, like where? Like, but from where though? Like, maybe let's say nationality. Because maybe deep down you are a demon slayer by nature. One of our team members actually is an actual demon slayer. Actually, uh, Transylvania. Yeah, see so what I'm saying? You're just pulling them all in now. Me, I'm like both sides of World War II, just all mixed together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm a, I'm well, a I mean, there's you know, there's a lot of things happening during World War II. I'm a English, Welsh, German, uh, something, Italian. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. You were, you were. Uh, how do you mix Superman and Iron Man? Like, <laughs> you well, know, he's got the mind we, of Iron Man. We built this. We built this shirt talking about Marvel, yeah, yeah. right? This is the paladin armor from, from our game. Right. And I go to convention and be like, dude, you are a great Thor cosplayer. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. You're like, first of all, I look like Superman. Yeah. You do. You do. I do. I would make the great dad bod Thor costume look fantastic. <laughs> I could keep that. that. I could do that. Instead of like a giant hammer, it's like a controller on a fucking stick. Anyways, continue. You were playing Castle. <laughs> we're at lunch. I'm at lunch with my, my parents and my friend. Right, okay. The friend who had everything, right? And I didn't yeah. have a Nintendo or anything yet. Nothing. Yeah. So, <clears throat> we're, we're just we're going on and on about this game. Like, like you, you've heard me talk about stuff. Like, you can't yeah. shut me up, right? And, and, and my dad, who, at, at this point in life, he's like, son, if you like these games so much, why, why don't you just make one? And my, my friend and I are like, but Dad, we're, we're just little kids. We, we don't know how to do something. He's like, well, hey, look. And he's kind of holding up one of those imaginary Nintendo cards. He's like, if they figure out how to make one of these things, you just got to figure out what they did, and then you can make one, too. Mm -hmm. and we're like, yes! And we were powered, so we yeah. run back home, right? But he didn't even finish breakfast. 
finished. Then we finished. We literally ran home. We did. That, that actually happened because the restaurant was only about a 15 minute run from the house. Right. And we go to my friend's house and we go up and he had a computer. And for the next uh, two hours, we tried to make a video game on his computer, which was very hard to do in Microsoft Word. And I'm not talking about the new Microsoft Word, I'm talking about the Microsoft Word back in Windows. Like, so. like it was like a black and white, it wasn't even like Windows 3.1, it was like this old it was like Oregon Trail. Wasn't it DOS? <laughs> well, it, it was a DOS, and he had a 286, so it was a DOS machine. But yeah. It was like this proto version of Windows. Like, it, it, it wasn't, it, like, I don't know, it was like Windows 1 or something. Wow. I, 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 you I, had that computer right now, like, you saw it. You did compute your taxes in a few years. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we realized, hey, we're, we're dumb kids, we're going to have to learn how to do this. Yeah. So we, we started going to the bookstore, right? <laughs> And we're like, you're already smarter than I was. He didn't know what a bookstore <laughs> was. <laughs> but well, we went to the mall, right? Because yeah. that's where all the games were. Right. With the bookstore, like, oh, they had programming books. So we'd open them up and we'd look to, to find ones that had the, the graphics in the back. And we'd be like, this is the book we need. Yeah. And uh, we had to shovel snow to get the money to get the books. Right. And you could get, like, you know, sometimes like 3 to $5 a driveway from like, the, the big houses. Yep. <clears throat> and it only took you, like, you know, 30 minutes to shovel one of these driveways. So right. we'd split that money, right, between the three of us. So. <laughs> Getting the fifty dollars was kind of a miracle. Yeah. One time, this um. What did you need the fifty for? The books, because <laughs> they were like twenty dollars a piece. Yeah. So um, this one lady. Uh, still leaving them out of question. The she had her house on like a, a bank in Snow Canyon, like literally like snowed in the house, and uh, this guy drove her around and goes, "Hey, you the, the kids that um, are shoveling the snows?" So we're like, "Yeah." I was like, this is. I got some candy for you. <laughs> Get in the van. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, this lady's right there. there piled into the snow, and we go, like, you know, dig out her house. It's like, she's give, she'll give you $20 a piece to go do that. Oh, yeah. Right? So we went there, and we, it took us, like, like, three and a half, four hours to, like, dig that place out. The lady came and she's like, oh, thank you very much. We did not take the money. That was, you know, harder than, because we were trying to save up to get this thing. Right. But that, that, that was, I, I feel like, like, the, the things we did like that kind of made it worse doing the That was your good karma. Stuff. Yeah, like yeah. We, 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 we racked up um, the correct amount of suffering to have learned mm. early things. Yeah, wow, that's very Christian. Thanks. Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, the more suffering you have, the more it'll be seen in God's eyes. I think, as a creative entrepreneur, right? Like, yeah. You do have to make sacrifices. Oh, yeah. To, it's almost like that's universal. It seems like that's all we do is sacrifice. I know, but yeah. Like, everything we so do much. is sacrifice. Dude, I've been up since five, and I didn't invent a lot. I got up early today. It's weird. Are you on LSD right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking! I can touch everything with my own hands. Touch yeah. the fluffy wall. Touch the fluffy <laughs> wall. You look good in that, though. <laughs> oh, thank you. thank you. So for a long time, I went down to his house and we tried to figure out how to make stuff. Yeah. Right. But we'd buy these books and we'd, we'd, like, we didn't even have the software in the bookstore for, and the books didn't tell you you need to go buy the software. We're like, well, I'm typing this in, why doesn't it work? You know, typing like C++ and then it works. Yeah, oh, yeah. It doesn't work. No. So, um... <laughs> We, uh, I got that computer, and that was a life-changing event, because uh, it wasn't supposed to be in my room. They were supposed to use that for work. Yeah. I kept stealing the cat into the, into the room. And uh, what I'd do is I'd position my computer right here, and I had this big, uh, it was a barrel that my grandfather upholstered a seat onto. Oh, okay. And it was on the end of my dresser, and I put the computer on the end of the dresser, and I sat on the barrel. Yeah. And right past my, my computer, when I eventually got a TV, I put the TV in. I was just like, I watched TV kind of nonstop while working on these little projects. Every day I'd come home from school. Not like for like a week, not for a year, but for all of basically my, my rest of my life. I'd come home and try experimenting and building something. I just had like a, like I never finished it. I had like a, a, a thousand fan there. experience. You finished stuff. Well, you finished horribly. a lot of stuff. You got on a plane and wrote a. You told them you were going to have a movie when you showed up in like Alaska. Yeah, well. And you got on a plane and had a script by the time you got off the plane. That's true. You write books faster than I can write a design this post. All right. <laughs> hey, he does. <laughs> this guy's amazing. I'm actually. If you know, we wonder why with how his brain works. Every I once was, in a while. Yesterday alone, I because I have a series that's due out to my publisher. I'm actually very really due out for crime war. I'm still editing it. They edited it, they sent it back to me, I gotta go back through it, re-edit it, and prove their changes. Still doing it. But, while I'm doing that, uh, I got word that I might be able to get this film funded if I build this deck. 
is in this deck out in Mexico. So then I was like, well, now i got to go with deck. But while I was doing that, I was also writing a brand new Team Adventure Club book. I just started the first chapter while I was doing all this other shit and taking care of my baby. I had all these programs open, all these writing pages open at the same time. And I'd sit down whenever I could, and I'd scan a little bit and correct it, flip it, throw something on the deck, move it, and then I'd write, like, another paragraph for the book, you know, I'd get up and stop my baby from choking on hot dogs. Kids, kids are afraid of hardcore. Yeah. Like, really Yeah, afraid well, of you have to be, I think, <clears throat> I use them as fuel. Um, my, that was, sounds kind of... No, I meant for my for my creativity. Oh yeah, because I can pull right from them. And be yeah, stupid and silly and dance and yeah, I can do all that stuff with them. And you know, my girls love it. And <clears throat> and that is it. Yeah, yeah. So wait, is that kind of like what I do with my kids? We're like, yeah, you're funny because we've never actually seen someone who's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I see the kids of you, and it's like you and your son, and you deconstructed a Mac from 1981. And it's like yeah, it's a screwdriver, let him like go right in there. <laughs> no problem. You like, and then you'll like, learn. Like, function, like my son just designed his first video game. How old is he? Like five? Actually, we'll, we'll, let's put a pin in that one, okay? Okay. Like, that, that, that's that'll be a thing. Right. But my, I was just gonna say, I, my daughter's like that can have ice cream. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. That's the difference. Your well, bring are bring your kids over. over. <laughs> Bring your kids over. Smarten them up a little bit. I do ice cream. Let's do it. <laughs> what, my, my biggest regret um, with you, Joe, is that you and I never got together and just did a little weekend project. No, I know, man. Because we talked I, about it for decades. Well, you know, we there's still time. time. You got real busy. I got busy. You, you, yeah. You know that I had several projects to fall apart. Because this one time uh, he was filming. I forget. What it was, uh, it was Grant's movie, Mr. Matrix, and he asked if he could use our office and in my house. You use my house, your house, as the, you use like the back of it to like be like a pool party or something. Pool yeah. party, that's all. Fun. That was so cool. That was fun. I, I had. I, well, we I, also sh- when you came over to the office, like you put the, the your crew put the lights and they burned all of our. Um, ones. What? They all melted. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, uh, we were like. Fix it, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, no, I told Mike to fix it. He's a movie director, it's okay. Yeah. They're supposed to break it. Yeah. Watch your stuff. Just that's, what in, that's what our insurance is for. <laughs> our production insurance. So. Genius. Okay. okay. Geniuses. Are you sending me baseball signals? No, I'm Coming stretching. What's happening? I'm here? stretching. Am I supposed to take third? I don't know what. I'm thinking. <laughs> All right. In so, any language. Making video games. Uh, yeah. It's, and I, I, I think we should compare notes on this because okay. when I knew that all I wanted to do was like create stuff, right? And, it, you know, that's like, oh, you knew you wanted to create video games. No, I, I wanted to create video games, movies, books, comics, anything, right? Like, I, I just, I like to create. I drew all the time. I wanted to be an artist, but my dad told me that I'd be, um... Horrible time. No, I drew this picture of a lamp. He's yeah. like, he's like, all right, son. And I was like, I was like four or five, and uh, he's like, hey, go, go, go draw this lamp. And I went and draw the lamp. He goes, you'll get better. <laughs> I, I, I have so much respect and love for, for my father. He, he, he passed away uh, a little over a year ago. Sorry. In fact, um, Sorry. my mother and I just went up to British Columbia, Canada, and we took his ashes to, to spread them on the, the lake that he just it was his favorite place on earth. And we took this um, puddle jumper out of the float boats out, and uh, the, the pilot on the, on the way there goes, "It's like, all right, you don't have to wear um, what was the water boat vest called? Uh, uh, life saver? Yeah, you don't have to wear a life life jacket. Preserver. Preserver. Um, but if you don't, you have to walk. I'm like, oh, he's a funny guy. This is great. And then he goes, it's like, okay, I, I ripped the fuel gauge out of my plane, but it's okay. <laughs> I pour the fuel in myself and I check it. I know exactly how long we can fly. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, he's a funny. No, it was that literally ripped out when we got in the plane. <laughs> wow. He was up there with like a, a yardstick, like, oh, yeah. yeah, we're good for an hour and a half. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nice. So we take that off. Never works. This thing was like small. Like, yeah. And the, this guy was, he was awesome. Like, he was, he was legit awesome. And, and the plane, like, it had that like 1970s like upholstery going on. It's like, oh, it's yeah. like this tight. It was like, like a Cessna? Like, yeah. Yeah. 
when you had the, the headphones on, you couldn't hear over the loudest. Right. We're taking off. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Sorry. And we fly out to the spot where, like, you know, we have this, um, we have this, like, uh, property up there, right? On, on this lake. And, um, we're, we're getting here, I'm looking down, like, uh, there's some people with boats and campers on the property, like, in there, like, like this is, like, the sacred thing that, like, yeah. we came out there to do, and, uh, we kind of, in our heads, kind of envisioned this would be, like, empty. So we get down That's there. That's your property, right? Yeah. Yeah. This was, um... Nothing's ever been built on this property. It's just like a, it's like a, it's our last thing that we we have up there. And um, it's your like last resort. And you got to be careful. I advance just a bump. Just saying. Well, that, that's my plan. Z- zombies survive. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. times are bad. Yeah. And you know, pilot now, so. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you and one other person. You know. <laughs> he has a he's, he's, he's like looking out the window and like uh, looking for moose and bear. And like the place is getting dangerously close to the mountains. I'm like, we can touch the trees. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I hit the mountain again. Jeez. So uh, we get to, and you got to be careful because that, that's a small town up there. Like literally everybody knows everybody. Yeah. And uh, we land and um, so my mother and I walk up and like, oh, um, we're the guys who built the road into the property. And uh, the former outfitter, the, the, the other thing, the guy who worked the other thing we did, um, he, he gave them permission to come use it. We're like, oh, okay, because we're going to need these guys in the future, right? Because, like, it's a small world. Up yeah, there. yeah, yeah. You don't want to piss off the rat little vocals. Yeah, like, every, yeah. Like, like, when we were going to the town, like, the driver knew the chefs at all the restaurants we were going to, the, the driver knew the people, like the, the people at the hotel knew the people who were bringing us our cars, yeah. that was like their kids, like their it's kids a small are town. Their kids. And when I say it's like, we had to drive like an hour on a dirt road in the woods, like just pitch black, like nothing but wood, like a bear ran in front of us, we passed a bunch of cows that were south free roaming, deer just so jumped in came and by, Canadian, yeah. Canadian Terrian? Canadian Terrian? Is that the Cantarian one? demon? Can get to that? Oh, Cantarian demon. Yeah, yeah, Canadian demon. Can. Yeah. So, anyways. Canadian. Um, Canadian demon. So, my, my father was instrumental to how things changed. I'm, I'm going to tell a story that I shouldn't tell, ever. We love those stories. I tell those all the time. You do. Oh, now I'm going to hide tonight. It's not that Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. He's like, so we killed Hoffa. Anyways, <laughs> Edward Snow used to be my guild. Like in this Canadian land where no one lives? No, my gaming guild back in 2000. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't need to over-deliver. Give me a good one. That's awesome. Right? Yeah, I created this guild yeah. when I was in college. But we got 2,000 members in, in, my, yeah. in my guild. And uh, eventually got smaller into a tight group and we ran servers and did stuff. And, yeah. Um, Ever was one of the good members. That's awesome, man. Yeah. How was he? Wow. <laughs> we, we only have about 30,000 listeners, so. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't want to say that he was uh, working behind the line. Anyway, I, go ahead. my interactions were mostly um, he was having debate problems with members. I was. Sorting, oh, th- sorting things out. Uh, no, yeah, that's like well, we didn't know right until like long, long after. Yeah. And somebody comes back and they say, um, oh, "Guys, guys, I, I think Fish is Edward Snowden." Like, what? Like, oh my God, we're on some like NSA like watch list now. Right, right. They're <clears> still <throat> on you. Yeah. I mean, we're kidding, right, guys? Cameras in my everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> back on the game thing. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Right, just kidding, FBI. <laughs> I um, I was working on these projects all the time, but I never finished anything, right? It's like yeah. having like ten trillion unfinished scripts. Oh, wow. garbage. So I, I had all these like unfinished games, and I, I listened to this um thing that talked about the constant and never-ending improvement. Uh, can I? And the idea is that hey, maybe your stuff's not where you want it to be right now, but if you just dedicate yourself to making it a little bit better every day, every week. And eventually, you'll get it to where you want to be. Yeah. And I create this prototype. So, of all your projects, just focus on one. 
and make it. Well, I can't do that. But whatever you're doing, just make it better. <laughs> 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 It's, so, it's open to interpretation. So. Yeah, I have created this uh, experimental flash idea, and it combined everything because look, we're, we're, we're the sum total of everything we experience yep. up till now. And I knew how to do databases, I knew how to do web pages, and I knew how to do flash. And I, I took those three things and I put them into a, a juicy casserole, and I, I made this experimental game where the characters and monsters dynamically loaded, and the weapon loaded into your hand, and you could like attack and weapon to fly out of your hand and turn into something and then come back and then go on your turn. And I showed this this concept, I drew it. Yeah. Good <laughs> <laughs> to my, my closest one hundred friends in, in the guild. <clears throat> and they said Stone is like, Yo yeah, guys <laughs> <laughs> And um, the first guy I tried and he goes, Arnix, I don't I don't know how to tell you this man. This is the worst game I've <laughs> no wow. way to play this. And the next few people in chat were like, yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> and uh, it was originally called uh, Lore, Land of Rising Evil. Okay, I like that. That's and awesome. Great. Yeah. I was sitting there, like, hovering. Is that Too bad, I'm writing the script. You're already late. <laughs> Great. I was sitting there with the, the leap button, because, like, the others was kind of, you know, move in and move on. But I, I was thinking about that connecting. Kind of I'm like, okay, look, th this isn't what I want it to be right now, but if I just keep making it better every week. Yeah. So that was the beginning of uh, the name to Adventure Quest. Yeah. Because I realized that I was not capable of being serious. So when's it going to get better? <laughs> <laughs> For 20 years, right. that game has been updated. And wow. got at least a little bit better. Yes, fantastic. So you're saying that game gets better every week? It gets new stuff every week, <laughs> but you know the the artists and the coders, everyone's constantly upgrading, right? right? And then eventually we got to a point where I wanted to keep making more vast improvements to the game. Players didn't want the game to change, so we made a new game called Dragon Table, and that one was more like uh, Final Fantasy X for in Flash. Yeah. And then we built. Uh, I, I'm a huge fan of BattleTech and mech games, so I created a game called Mech Quest. And I have the artwork. <clears throat> Yeah, you're, you're, you know uh, Johnny Atomic, right? Yes. He, he was the one that uh, helped compose that. Yeah. And I think that's how I wrote the book. You're in the book? No, I'm not in the book. With the book. Oh. I, I got the book from... It's Europe. a really nice book. Yeah, it's like this, but way thicker. Johnny Atomic told me when... Because he, he contracted to, to help do that. He had no, no proficiency in doing that. Yeah. And one thing that's kind of funny is, you know, you always wonder why... If all these big companies are so smart, why don't they do these new things that come out real fast and let be really easy? And the truth is, they don't have time. Even, even us as not a big company, we just don't have time. So when you don't have time, you need to find somebody who is an expert and have them come and bring their expertise to build something. Yeah. So we brought Johnny in and he did the back quest book. It was beautiful. Yeah. And uh, Johnny and I had a, a conversation. He said, said Artis, you will never build a book on your own. <laughs> like I was like, yes, I will. And he's like, it's like, it's like, no. Companies don't do things outside because the, the most important thing always is prioritized. You never go do decide things. Yeah, yeah. Just saying. <laughs> you did this to prove a point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, not a color. Really I'll show him. <laughs> that, that was a while ago. This is. This. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well, you did get better. So then we, we made side. Dragon Table. I'm showing pictures now for those of you who don't have uh, video. And we made Mac West. But it's all video. And then no. we uh, acquired this uh, game company that built, they had a game that was... They, they were trying to make a game to be acquired by us called Epic Duel. And uh, they thought they'd be our PvP solution. So uh, we started working on an Adventure Quest World, which would be our first massively multiplayer game. I like that. And then we kind of teamed up and brought Epic Duel into Argus Entertainment. <clears throat> And then um, we released Adventure Quest Worlds, which was definitely our most ambitious. On New Year's of 2008, I think, everybody came over and said, hey, bring your laptops. Why are we bringing our laptops to a New like, Year's oh, party? Oh, it's on now! Nobody ever brings laptops to my, my New Year's parties anymore, because <laughs> that means we're going to work, right? Oh, shit. We made a big announcement. Work on New Year's? Well, we made it. No, no holidays! holidays. No, no holidays! holidays. No. Oh, dude. 
Well, you can have a holiday off, but it's going to get worked in advance. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but normally, you have to do the releases like a Super Bowl. Dude, I would have searched every laptop and do it. I've been like, it's New Year's, we're working. No, everybody was thrilled, but they were like, what do you mean you're announcing you're making an MMO? We've never made an MMO. We don't know how to make an MMO. I'm like, it'll be fine, we'll figure it out. Yeah. In two months, we had a working like prototype. In four months, we rewrote it from Action Script 2 to Action Script 3. Yeah. And then by October of that year, we had our first full release. And that was really one of our crowning achievements. It, it was really hard. I remember, man, I, I've supported you every day. Instagram and, and Facebook. Oh, and you're that one like I keep getting. Yeah. <laughs> you're the one. <laughs> you're the um, no, but I, I, I've watched the journey, and, I, and it's something that I've always found fascinating, uh, just knowing you, is that it's always something new. Oh, you're up there. What? It's right there. Cool. You are. On the oh, screen. I'm above you. Yeah. yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Help, I'm in this box. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I, I it's just something I admire about watching you you just expand and create and you're just this 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 energy. You did still that. But I, I feel I feel the same way about you, honestly. Yeah, well, you're far more advanced than you know, you know you I make money at it. I make no money. I have no money. Well Same. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you I you actually turned it into a job. Mine's like uh I have to explain every time to the wife what I'm doing. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say something really controversial. I'm getting there. I think that's, that's a decision, right? Like, yeah. I, I don't do what I do for the money. I, I know that we need right. the money because I have employees and their families and, and yeah. everybody depending right. on us. Kids. And we're, we're going into a tough time. I don't, yeah. I don't mean the studio. I mean the world's going into Yeah, what do you mean going into? I've been piloting this no, fucking it, shit. What do you mean? Our president keeps saying, we're not in it. Recession? We're not a okay. inflation. That, what? That is weird. The, the actual <laughs> definition is, is two years of, of or two um, consecutive um, downturns. Right? We are definitely in a recession. But how's that going to the housing market? That's what I need. I need to buy a house. Gas is house. going it's, down. You know, no, the, the insurance um, interest rates are so high right now. Yeah, yeah. Wanna. No, the, the housing uh, lags. It'll be a long time. For the, the housing market is going to crash. It's never going to come. It's going to crash soon. Mark my word. We well, can't have high prices many, and high rates. No, that's not a good. No, the high rate. No, that's so. You know, we can't buy housing, but everyone's then buying cash for them. Yeah, investors so are different. buying them up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Investors will and be buying renting them to people that can't afford two thousand dollars a month. Yeah, yeah. And well, that, so that's how like, that, that's how they. It's not a good one, situation. One raise taxes and also um, uh, change the dynamic of neighborhoods. Oh, that's, on that note, you want to hear something scary? When I'm a, I'm a, when I was up in Canada. Um, they have a lot of hay farmers, right? So they, they get those bales of hay. Yep. And um, they're saying, yeah, you know, these things used to go for five dollars. Oh yeah. And so it takes 30. for this amount of, of hay, it'd be like one week for one cow, right? Yeah. So it'd take about twenty bucks a, a month to feed your cow. And they're saying go to thirty-five dollars a cow. Whoa! Yeah. Wait. So you're telling me it's going to be hundred twenty-five dollars to feed my cow in a month versus thirty dollars? Yeah. Now think about that up the road. That's a huge difference. Because that's a cow, right? right? And that, that, that's, that's the beginning the of the chain. That's the meat. Right. That's the yeah. eggs. I, that's the... I think, and I'm not I'm not trying to be a doom and gloom guy, right? But we, we're in for some very difficult times. And what sets us apart, like, I I, I think I thrive in chaos. Yeah. Like, give, give me a bad situation, me and I will too, find man. some way to, to do okay and make things... Me yeah. too. Yeah. <clears throat> it surrounds me. And that's what we said through the... It's a choice, right? Because you can look at the situation, and you can say, Oh my god, this is terrible, this sucks, this is unfair. Or you can look at that same situation and say, Okay, what could be good about this? What can we do? What changes can we make? What actions can we take? Right? And it's the questions that we ask us in our, in our heads that determine what we, we are and we do. Like a comedian like you, anytime <laughs> somebody says something, you, you have to ask them yourself, How can I make this funny? Immediately. And, uh, I don't even think about it anymore. It's a natural reaction. And, uh, 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 you know, a Wall Street rich guy is thinking, how can I make money off of this, right? Yeah. And yeah, please, use me and abuse me. I'll fucking, yeah, man. And, I'll make you laugh for a dollar. <laughs> and the questions that you're asking yourself inside your head determine, like, what you do. And I, and I, I I'm not perfect at this. Like, I, I'm not perfect at anything. In fact, I'm not very good at it. I'm very persistent, but I'm not really good. Right? Yeah, that's my, my entire motto. 
is like, I'm like, okay, how, how can we do the best in this situation? How can we make this better? How can we make it better every week? The, the yeah. AI thing. And I think that's that's my that's my modus operandi. That's my my thing. I I feel that if everybody did this, right, we could all make the world a better yeah. place. We're for real, not just talking about it. Yeah. That's I do that all every because my and the same thing. I go into my book. How can I make it better? And I just keep doing it. Like every day. Well, I do that every day with my websites. Like I'm always, always working on all my, all my websites every day. So basically, so I keep looking over there because physically he's he's over there. So it looks but like I'm, I'm like looking you. off the screen. I'm like I'm above you. Pencil sharpener. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's up there. Like you should have switched. Hi. Okay. So <laughs> we made tons of games, right? And and uh, then in 2013, we thought, hey, let's take this to the next level. Let's make a 3D game. Let's make it a 3D version of the original Adventure Quest. And let's make it in Flash. Mm -hmm. You like challenges. Yeah, I, 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 um, I lost almost a million dollars building that thing. Because we, we... Dude, I could lose your million dollars. Want to make a movie? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, uh, we talked to one of the founders of, of Unity. And they had this flash exporter that was their thing. Yeah. And um, I really bet the farm on it. And when that when Proof and Unity dropped the flash exporter, that was it was such a dark day. And, and, and then we were like, okay, well, what are we gonna do, right? Like we like now we're in this situation. I'm like, okay, well, let, let's learn Unity, and let's start building mobile games to learn how. So we built this game called Battle Gems, and we did get uh, and thanks to Sabrina, by the way, um, she she made the introduction. To the Apple um, got uh, awarded the best new uh, game on the Apple App Store when it was released. Right. Very nice. It was um, a really, really fun project to work on. Not for everybody. It was like lear learning is like, well, like, learning is hard. Le learning in a time pressure cooker? Yeah. Like, that was on the floor. That's the best way I learned. It's the only way I can learn. I cannot learn at a snap space. I was, that's why I was very good in high school. I had to hyper focus the information. I don't, have, I don't. I don't want to wait for the answer. You know what I mean? Good, because the next part of this is going to be a quiz. All right. <laughs> uh, what is White D. Eisenhower? <laughs> is that a bird? Is this Jeopardy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, that then uh, I came back. We, we had the worst period in the, the company's history after that. And, you know, there's um, the one thing that that no. That's what you hung up on. Me. No, no business owner, no uh, nobody wants to go through is when, like, things just collapse, right? Yeah. And yeah. You're like, okay, what do I have to do to, to make it through this? And that, that was the worst and hardest decisions of that period. And um, then I, I kind of went and got my head straight, and I came back and said, okay, well, what what should we do? And I was talking to the team. They're like, let's go finish Adventure Quest 3D. We've never started something we haven't like actually finished. And uh, we did. We went and we started rebuilding it. Now it's a cross-platform game. We play on everything. And when we got pretty far in, in the, like we got it kind of working and like everything was up, well, we were running out of money. So I, I did something that was just completely um, unheard of at the time for, for any company that wasn't like really tiny to go to Kickstarter and ask you know everybody to, to come and help support this project and help us finish. Uh, what was this? Was <clears throat> 2015. Oh. So we launched uh, the Adventure Quest 3D Kickstarter campaign, and we raised, um, in total with the PayPal portion of it, uh, I think in total it was like $450,000. Yeah. Which, look, you That's cannot, bad change. You, you, you can't build an MMO on $450,000. Maybe that... Again, you know, when you make a movie, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but with what we had, that additional amount, like you know, splitting it out, like over time, it, it made the numbers work. Yeah. So we just had to get the game off, and we had so six months, two years. Exactly. Yeah. And that was that was what changed it. And yeah. um, I was really proud because after the Kickstarter ended, within two two weeks, we had an alpha that the, the players could log into, and then we we posted a big list of everything we wanted the uh, Kickstarter to accomplish. And we were just knocking them off the list. Some, some were a lot harder than others, but once we actually got on Android, once we released on Apple, like 
it, it was so complicated. It's still so complicated to run this, but we got better at it. So that was um, that was uh, adventure quest review. That game is still running. Yeah, how's that doing? Uh, terrible, but <laughs> 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 well, uh, I think that I take responsibility for everything that happens. Right? Good. It's easy to make excuses, but I you know, my land <clears throat> we we screwed up. We had uh, people that, that left. Right? Yeah. We had uh, okay, made some decisions that you know. Because when you're working with a team, you don't like I don't make decisions that are backing, right? Yeah. Like I go and if everybody's kind of like, hey, we want to do this, I'm like, okay, how can I support you in doing this? And maybe that doesn't work, right? And I, I take responsibility for that because I have to, right? Like because I was the one that empowered them to go do it. So we, we try something and it's okay to fail. You have to fail as a creative entrepreneur. Yeah. You have to continuously do things and, and failing's okay as long as you don't give up. And the secret is just to keep going. And <clears throat> I, I, I take an awful lot of flack, like, because, you know, we, we piled up a lot of uh, missteps, but th that, that's okay. And we had I mean, some that's, wins. as a, from one business person to another, man, you are not going to get successful without you. Know, you have to fail and in, in the most extraordinary way in order to advance. And you don't know that, so you're failing. And you don't know that's after you failed, that you needed to fail in in that way to move forward in the direction you need to go. And take it from a guy who fails at almost everything. So, you know, seriously, like, every step is a step that counts towards your success. You have to fail. Yeah. And a lot of people cannot accept failure. They cannot accept that uh, they've, right on. you know, they've... Uh, it, you got to fail. It's, it's, and it's okay because we, we did turn around and have some wins. We, we got the game on designated survivor, which was nice. crazy. And then uh, we had Corn, uh, the band, come and do a performance Ooh. in the game. We had Breaking Benjamin come and do a performance in the band in the game. We had uh, Alice in Chains Ooh. come and do an event with us. Yeah. Um, our, our, our mutual friend, uh, Aurelio Voltaire, Voltaire yeah. came and did, did an event with us in, in the game. And you also had. Uh... Doll. My doll. My doll. My doll. Okay, um, she, <laughs> I, uh, I think they're, I, I talk to her every now and then. Yeah. And, um, uh, she said that they were kind of, like, under the radar right now. They're going to do something new and interesting. Oh, what is that? But, Don't promote them? Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love them so much. They're, they're two of my favorite people on the planet, uh, her and Jason. Um, they, they, they did a soundtrack for a movie of yours that they are very reluctant to talk about. Mine? Bane? Blaine? Something? I don't know. You weren't the director of that? No. Bane? I know that movie. I don't have Why a movie. do I know that movie? I don't have a movie named Bane. It was a local film, Yeah, it was right? local. Not I, me. I, I, I mean, that was a comment. long time ago. Not me. I never made anything called Bane. Okay. That I was... Have, I, here are my movies in order. That had to be like 2000... 11, Sounds 12, weird. around there. All right, so I, have I never saw it, but I know of it. Jared and Edison I don't know movies. who did it. Unearthed? Okay, Unearthed, that's 2000. Then I don't have anything until um, Experiment 7. Experiment 7, my favorite. Then I did his Nightfall. Because you guys were amazing together. Yeah, well, Sorry. Yeah. that went crazy. Uh, <laughs> and then we have his Nightfalls. Nightfalls. Okay, and then, uh, oh, I missed 100 Tears. 100 Tears. 100 Tears? So, Unearthed, 100 Tears. Experiment 7, His Night Falls, uh, Frostbite. Frostbite? Mr. Engagement. Mr. Engagement? Uh, Beauty is Skin Deep. I didn't see that one. And then I had Hank, but that took the fucking horrible thing. Then, uh, Sorority of the Dam. I never did a movie called Bane. Okay, they're mistaken. Can you one more get to your phone? No, it's only 10. I wonder who did that. Right. Yeah. One more to get to test. Right. We're <laughs> good at counting. <laughs> Maybe I understand why you know. Um, we're going to make Hackaho. Hackaho. Yeah. yeah, where's Camp Hackaho script at? Well, what screen is that on at your house? It's not there yet. <laughs> That's in the, when I got time, pull it up here a little bit. <laughs> Hackaho. So, in 2019, um, I really kind of got exhausted. Like that, that, that deep overwhelm, and uh, as a, as a, you're all creative entrepreneurs, 
it's um really like you just kind of get in this like you, you kind of lose your, your spark. Yeah. yeah. You, got, you got embers of it, but like I quit for four years. It's so hard to, to get it back up. I just didn't I want to do it anymore. Who they think I am. Who? Who, did that, who made Bane? I don't know, I but I do remember that movie. Because back it's then, like when I first started making movies, I was all into whatever everybody else was doing. Yeah. Like, I was always, like, looking for things, and what is this guy doing? What is that guy doing? And I remember that movie on my radar, but I, I can't tell you who made it. I don't know. And I don't know if it ever got made. Did it ever get made? Okay. You said you have a copy of it? Oh, yeah. Like on DVD? Yeah, or all the local movies I've had. You know. Like on DVD? I have all these movies except the one I didn't know existed. You just can do? Yeah. It's do you have any of mine? Prime right now, you can watch it. Yeah, I like getting your stuff on DVD. Yeah, well. Like my, my Mr. Engagement thing, I'm like, this is. I'm, uh, I, my need house, this. I need this. <laughs> well, yeah, they're, they're all getting better. See, like when I first started, they were shit. My movies. They were, you know, they unearthed. I didn't really direct it, but Craig did. Uh. But then, like, 100 Tears was okay, could have been really better. Experiment 7, kind of let it be me, and decide, you know, like, so as you just progress, man, you do right. man, you just can't. Yeah. Do you them. have any of my movies? Well, yes, like yours. 10 movies. Uh, if I can't have you, nobody has that. Housewife Slasher, Rough Cut, uh, Die, Die, Delta Pi, Crazy Lake, Seeing Evil. Naked Cannibal Campers, Zed's Dead, and Cheerleader that. Sleepover Slaughter. So this movie we're <laughs> shooting Saturday is going to be my 10th. Yeah. Better wow. get your ass moving. <laughs> hey, you want to watch something really cool? Can you, can you take your ears and just kind of pull them out to the edges? Or just move, move closer move closer to the camera. Move closer to the camera. Yeah, a little closer. I'm just going to reach through his ear. Right nice. The other side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I was oh, finally full. So okay. it sounds like I, I'm going to get a list of you before I leave. Okay. I'm going to get my collection up to date. There you go. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> we got a few fun ones in there. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're great. They're all fun. So whenever, you know, you're, you're kind of stuff, that, I think you got to kind of get back to your roots. And uh, I'm a big fan of doing these, like, 30-day challenges. Mm -hmm. And I've done some really stupid ones that I, I, I'm really embarrassed to admit. And uh, there's this one that was basically this, like, club of, like, 30 Five plus year old, like bearded crying men, and like they have these like rules, like they're like you have to go into the forest with a stick and like talk to your inner child. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm this? like, what am I doing? Where do you find these <laughs> The internet. Where do you find everything? TikTok. <laughs> well, you find all my you bad did the Tide Pod challenge. <laughs> so, so there I am in the forest with my stick. Yeah, and right. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> and I'm like. You know, why, why did I get into to games? And I was thinking back to my to my childhood. I had that, I had that Nintendo, you know? Because I, I got a Nintendo, like, like, three years after. <laughs> like, it was... But I, I got a Nintendo. When the Sega Nintendo. came out and they went on sale. I never got one. Though, dude, I played the I Nintendo, Nintendo. I didn't have a all the time. I didn't get the Nintendo Mario Tech and uh, Techno <laughs> Bowl. Oh, yeah! Dude, Super Techno Bowl was, oh, like, yeah. the best football game I, I ever. Had football. Very I didn't have a console or a video game system, so my friend gave me a PlayStation 2. Wow. Oh, the first time I played That's not that long ago. Good. And, it was, and it came with this folder was sick. Yeah, so what better way to get introduced to right. real video games? That wasn't the greatest game, but... Well, <laughs> it was, I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. Uh... Because it was Evil Dead. Did you play the like, new one? Evil Dead. Uh, no, I know everyone. I know everybody who made it. The guy who edited um, Sword of the Dam edited yeah. the game. Oh, Nelson Torres. It's good games. Yeah, dude. I I haven't I, had a chance. I was very lucky to sit in uh, one of our editing sessions where he paused it to show us the video game stuff. This was before they even announced it, and I may or may not have recorded all of. <laughs> when your children are old enough right, to have watch Evil we'll Dead 2, we should have a viewing with my, like, like this is a thing. Let me catch up the day. My daughter is in love with Chuck. She watches everything Chuck. She, she has the dolls. 
she, she uh, listen, man, she found I, I'm being like child shame. Like, my, my kid can't handle Dr. Um, <laughs> oh, mine, dude. Yeah, I started mine young for horror movies and stuff. Outer Space is Alexis' favorite movie. Killer Clowns Outer Space. I didn't <laughs> get it. Son, sit down. We're, we're putting Cujo on. <laughs> <laughs> but, Adam, I mean, this, is, this is where the crazy thing is. Leanne and I didn't show her these things. She found this stuff on YouTube. She found Killer Clowns one day all by herself. And I was like, she kept laughing. And I said, what are you watching? And she's like, I don't know, there's a movie with clowns in it. And I said, what kind of clowns? And she says, I don't know, I think they're from outer space. <laughs> and I said, let me see the phone. And I, took, and I looked at it, and it was the cotton candy scene, the rap from one of the guys wow. like the cotton candy. Wow. And I said, you're watching Killer Clowns in outer space. I go... And it was What's the whole movie. wrong with you? It was the whole movie on YouTube. Yeah, there's and a lot I of that said, shit on there. I said, how many times have you seen this? She's like, I don't know, five. I was like, you've watched this five times? She's like, yeah, I love it. So for her seventh birthday, we had a killer clown birthday. She got killer oh clown God. figures. And it was great. Anyways. <sighs> Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, see how we think different? Like, your kid is so smart, but mine's like... Not afraid. No, I, I tried. I'm like, I, I'd shown clips from the Army of Darkness. It's probably the most family friendly of the, the series. Well, yeah, alright. And like, I'm what like, hey, you want to go watch this? He's like, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, my my kids uh, love all of this. You <laughs> seen it on Netflix? Korean show. Oh, yeah, yeah, I seen that. That's great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. You like yeah. zombie stuff? Yeah, I like those. You should watch Black Summer. What's that? It's on Netflix. It's the, it's... I didn't know. It takes place in Z Nation. Okay, Z Nation. Is a yeah. thing that I never watched. But Black Summer is the best zombie thing I've ever seen, ever hands out. Watch Black, Black Summer. Summer. Okay. Watch, watch Black Summer. Summer. I'm telling you, if you haven't watched it yet. I've watched like three episodes. It's dope, mm. right? It was okay. What do you I, mean? I'm not. I'm not a zombie guy. Like, it's not the zombies. It's the camera. I understand. Work. I'm it's just. Not the zombies. It's I'm the just not a zombie work. guy. It's camera work. I used That's to be a zombie work. guy, but it's just. It's all okay, the same you're going to be like, how are they doing this? <laughs> <laughs> they go out of a window, uh, down the they follow it, they go in a fight scene in a garage, out of a window with the dude, that dude runs, jumps on the back of a car, now they're on the back of the car, moves the gas, the, the driver driving, back to the dude who's now on the roof, up to a drone shot, back down to that dude, hits the thing, flies over the car. No. All in one camera. How? How? Movie magic. There's so, I understand movie magic, man. They must be using the whole shot. It must be a drone the entire shot. It must Could be a be. full drone inside the... the Did you ever see that video of the, can, of the drone going through the bowling alley? Yeah. Dude, like, yeah. they can fucking do anything yeah. with a drone. The kids who shot... It's uh, incredible. Uh, James Cameron's new one with uh, ambulance. Those kids are like 20 years yeah. old. Yeah, that was a badass movie. That movie was shot like 40 minutes in that time. You know what I watched every weekend? Um, uh, Bullet Train. With uh, private, it. it was fun, man. It was really fun. Like it was, I didn't have high expectations going into it, but it was entertaining. Nice. You guys see um, tons of cameos too. Like, boom, this guy pops up, this girl pops up, and you're just like, why is this huge star in this movie for ten for seconds? Righteous <laughs> gemstones. As soon as I get my sides here, did you guys see uh, everything everywhere all at yeah. once? What did you think? Um, I thought it was. I get very overwhelmed <laughs> but when there's a lot of shit going that, on. That's <laughs> he, he's what I call my son. Like movie. my son's like psycho for it. Like he layers. loves this. He's like layers. this movie was incredible. He said if this doesn't win the Oscar, it's a travesty. Like, yeah. He's just he's all about it. What did you think of uh, Multiverse of Madness? That, that was sure. another one that was literally too overwhelming for. Him. <laughs> I need to watch. I need to watch Everything it again. Everything goes over his head. Everything goes over his head. I need to watch it again. I don't think fast, man. Like, when there's all this stuff happening, I get lost. I'm not even kidding. Like, I can't follow stuff. I have to watch it, like, two or three times to kind of soak it all in. But, uh, yeah, uh, Doctor Strange is on, I think, Disney now, so I'll yeah. probably end up watching it again. Uh, we, did a, we did a segment on the show where we <laughs> compared movies and recommended movies. And you look, look at my movies compared to his movies. It was, like, yeah, it was night and like, night. The movies I recommended, everybody liked. The movies you recommended, Not everybody liked. No. <laughs> so, okay, well, let's do, our top, let's do our top three, Mr. Real quick. What's everybody's top three movies? Top three? Ooh, My yeah. favorite, Pulp Fiction, Ooh. is number one. Yeah. Uh, probably Dark Knight, 
number two. Oh, and number True Romance, number three. Uh, Shaolin Soccer. Uh, Evil Dead 2. And Army of Darkness. Wow. Wow. Sweet. Wow. Uh, thing. Original. Wow. Love so that. Okay. That's in my top ten. Evil Dead 2. Yeah, I don't even think Oh! Oh! Dang! Wow. That'd be my number four, by the way. Yeah. That's weird. Well, I, I mean, Spider Man 2, the Randy is in there. Dude, it flips I just. Top five. You yeah, know, all three are on Hulu now. And I Netflix. I watched all three of them, like, in the last. I just finished part three today, this morning. And part two <laughs> is still fucking amazing. Like, yeah. it's a horror movie, dude. Like, there's so many. Horror three? scenes in three? part two. Oh, two, yeah, it's yeah. Crazy, dude. Like, like the, the fucking the hospital movie. scene when when, when Doc Ock's on the, on the table and the things start attacking all the doctors. It's so badass. It's so good. And I, I watched it again. I watched it yesterday. Uh, part two. It's so good. I'm not afraid to admit it. I was actually on the phone with my best friend Megan, and she called me. She said, "Well, you know, I'm still watching Spider-Man Two, Brian. What are you doing?" And I, you know where I, where I lose it every time? Where do you lose it? When Aunt May tells him he has to be Spider-Man again. When she's like, everyone needs a superhero. Right. You know? And I think it's about time you... You know? And you're like, she knows he's Spider-Man. And he knows... He knows. Because then right. she says, can you lift that box if it's not too heavy for you? Yeah. Just that grandmotherly little fucking knowing, right. that, <laughs> that, knowing that I know her little secret. But there's so many and impact scenes in that she's on movie. The building. You know what she's saying with yeah. that umbrella? And he's like, "Hold on!" That's when she realizes, "Oh fuck, that's that's uh, right. that's a Peter's voice." There's so many impact scenes yeah. in that movie, dude. Like and the train the scene, version, the clock version, the clock hour scene. Version? There's an extended version where Jade Jonah Jameson puts on the Spider-Man suit, yeah. runs around the office, and jumping over the desk. Yep. Yeah. And the in the subway fight scene. Is like 15 minutes longer. They go up through built in through a building and then back down onto the train and shit. That's all cut out. Dang, uh, I need to see that. I, I, I saw that. that last show. I saw that version on an airplane ride. I was going to the next version. It was Spider Man Two, and I was like, "Wait, I don't remember that scene." And then it was like all these other scenes. I was like, Ugh. I was like, "Wow." So watch, try to find the extended cut. Mm-hmm. Okay. Spider-Man II. And it's funny. So this morning I watched three, and I had always like. Always like didn't like three, but I, I watched it again today and it's not bad. Like it's it's got some it's just too horny much. moments, like when he's all like shooting the girls down the street and the, all that shit it was like so dumb. But the conflict with him and Mary Jane through that whole movie was pretty like like he kissed uh, Gwen Stacy when he's upside down yeah. in front yeah. of his fucking girlfriend, yeah. and you're just like. Why would what he do that? Like, like that? what man? But, but then I started thinking, I was like, right, why would he do that? So then you start saying, well, he really didn't have a lot of experience with girls. Well, it's Venom. And so he just didn't care. No, this was before he became yeah. Black Sea. Well, well, we got to look at it this way. Mary Jane was with, Peter, was with Peter Parker. She's a bitch. Then, then Spider-Man. Dude, my kids were fucking, oh, she's a bitch. He was being she two manipulates. separate people. He was being Peter Pan and Spider Man. Peter Spider, you know, wait, Spider Man kissed Gwen Stacy. Peter, Peter Parker yes. is was with uh, Mary Jane. Yeah, but so if you remember that kiss, so I he was Spider Man. Yeah, when Mary Jane kissed him. She did that when he was upside down. Too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So they even foreshadow it when she tries to kiss Wolfman. Yeah. Who that is? Yeah. Remember him, Man Wolf or whatever, Man Bat. The fucking the the, the astronaut. The sun. Oh, the sun. Yeah, That's, yeah, yeah. Jay Jones takes the sun. Yeah, he becomes like man bat. Or yeah. Oh, really? Something. Yeah. yeah. Man bat. I yeah, thought that was in DC. Yeah, something like he's bat something. Or man um, something. Man bear. Man big bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Al Gore. Yeah. Oh, that's what you're saying. <laughs> but that character. Yeah, but he comes out of the character. Become, uh, yeah. Falcon. They even alluded to it in the end of the movie when he leaps to the fucking boat. Right. I did find one mistake though. So in the first movie with Goblin, um, they're in the Daily Planet and they're talking about pictures. And he says, uh, one of the guys says, "Well, Eddie sent us these pictures 
And uh, so I assume they were talking about Eddie Brock. Yeah. But then in part three, they don't know who Eddie Brock is. Right. Well, so it's kind of weird. Just that up. But they could have been talking about some other Eddie. Who knows? Yeah. I, I think the Eddie Brock that they chose was a big swing and a miss. Yeah, I wasn't you a big Joker fan Grace? of Joker yes. Grace. Mm. Big swing and a miss. Whiff. Yeah, I, I think they thought they'd get someone who looked like Toby McGuire. Grammy didn't yeah. want to do it. Remember? Do you remember Eddie? Well, it's, yeah. it was too much packed yeah. into one movie. Too many villains packed into one movie. I don't remember seeing this movie. Did you Spider-Man 3? I don't think I did. The best part and is Venom. when Spider-Man and Venom are fighting on the tower, yeah. and Ma- Mary Jane's caught okay. the lab. And like, this is the, the one Spider-Man movie, movie, until all the new ones, which I also haven't seen, but I, I have not seen the Venom one. Goodbye. You're going to love thank, the Tom Thank Holland you for having me. I'm you sorry. You haven't seen the Tom Holland, you haven't seen the Tom Holland like Spider-Man? Dude. <laughs> Tom Holland. And he's gone. Goodbye. I'm sorry, Shane. Go to the basement! <laughs> <laughs> Get him. But yeah, dude, so I, I was telling my kids this morning, I was like, yeah, I was just watching the Rainy Trilogy and blah, blah, blah. And they were like, oh, fucking Mary Jean. She's a bitch. Yeah. She's so shitty. And lots of stuff like, I like Mary well, Jean. Well, here's the thing. You know, like, I, I, don't, I didn't realize I was watching Spider Man. So I just put it, I saw it, put it out immediately. And I was like, out of all the movies I could have picked today, because all the kids would have been on the baby sleeping. Right. I was like, man, I had like a good two hours. Chill, not. I'm not gonna touch my books. I'm just gonna sit here, drink some coffee, and watch a movie. Right. And I was like, Spider-Man Two. <laughs> and then I, and then of course I didn't get to watch all the phone call, whatever. Yeah. And then uh, right after that, I was like, okay, the girls still aren't home. They're not gonna be home until dinner. Spider-Man. I was like, well, no, never, never <laughs> watch again. Uh, I put on Uncharted. Again, which I've I haven't seen, seen that. I liked it. That's the thing, like, there's so many new movies out, and I'm sitting here watching the fucking movies I've seen, like, ten times. I watched that, like, last week. There's there's this kid in Hollywood right now, by the name of Tom Holland, who's kind of going unnoticed a little bit, because he's in all these Marvel movies. This Uncharted movie, he's fantastic in. But this kid, this kid's the next Tom Cruise. He's the next Tom Cruise. He's got 30 years of action movies. So he might all burn from a... No, he's not a scientologist, but he's right. actually, but, but, right. He doesn't say he's British, but what the fuck's that He's yeah. the next time he's yeah, scientologist? I, yeah, I think that he, I think he is, he's a, a great actor. Yeah. He's a great performer. He's a, he does most of his own stunts. Yeah. You know, until he really gets fucked up pretty bad. So is that movie actor. good? Oh, okay. yeah. Dude, it's oh, you need to see them. Do you need no. to know the no. game no. to see it? No. You're only going to get little things in the, in the movie. They, they put a lot of Easter eggs in it. There's a lot of Easter eggs. Shit he says in the game. Gunpowder. Like, that's in the movie. Because mm-hmm. he like, sees gunpowder, so he's like, gunpowder. Or like a door won't open, and he's like, door open. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. why would you say that? Nobody? But <laughs> it's kind of funny because he does it in the movie. Yeah. Uh, what, I, what I really liked was they kind of deviated from the story than all the other ones and this is kind of like a whole new adventure yeah which you can if you play the games they're all kind of like single adventure yeah other than the fact he's looking for his brother uh but Tom Holland man that kid is gonna go he is yeah I mean I, he I don't is know Spider-Man what, yeah well right yeah <laughs> he should play Spider-Man until he's fit honestly why would you give up a character like that why would you stop playing exactly. a character like I don't want to play that character anymore I'm getting all that I'll play Listen, when I get cast as the thing, I'll play that character until I die. Is he? <laughs> How old were you the first time you saw the thing? No, I mean the Greg Grimm thing. That's the Oh. Yeah. The first horror movie I ever saw was the thing. That was my introduction to horror. Yeah. Uh, How old were you? Did you see it at the theater? Four. Oh, that was Four. You weren't even born then. Who? Him. Were you born when the thing came out at the theater? That was 83, 82? Born 70 came out in 1980. That was 82, 83, around there. I thought it was older than that. I want to say 78. That's what I was going to say. Wait, there was one before that. 78? Yeah, I thought it was 78. No way. Because Halloween came out in 78, or was that Friday the 13th? No, close Friday the 13th came out in 70, or uh, Halloween came out in 78. Friday the 13th came out in 80? Yeah. But, yeah. 1982. Wow. Oh, right. I know my shit. 
I mean, I, that's because you were like 30 then. He yeah. knows when he, Red Vines, that he stuff. knows when Red Vines was invented. I know when the thing came out. How old are you now? If he, if he was, I'm 46 and a half. Oh, so he was alive the when the thing age? came out. Cool. So did you see the thing at the I'll be theater? In in December. We're the same age. I really have achieved nothing. Oh gosh, <laughs> Same. Yeah. Wow. So did you see the thing in the theater? <laughs> you passed out like I know. Times. I know what happened. No, now my timeline's wrong. I don't understand. Because that was the first horror film, and I remember being very small. And, and you were at, you saw it at the theater, or on video at your house? Oh, you would have been. They didn't have video. Oh yeah, you, didn't have, video you could afford a VCR back then. It was like five hundred dollars. Yeah, since we're also Mariah. Yeah. Oh, the first movie I ever my saw entire, in the theater, the Jaws. Glitch in the Matrix. Glitch in the Matrix. Mine was prom night. Oh, prom night? night? Like the first one? Yeah. My, my parent, we went to go see prom night, and I remember it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I want to say someone's head got cut off and kicked across the floor. Is that correct? God, I haven't seen prom night yeah, since yeah. the 70s or 80s when it came out. Since, since June, I probably June, need to see that again. Desert. But yeah, Jaws was my first movie I ever saw at the theater, and Rocky was my second. I remember in Rocky, everybody's cheering and going crazy in the theater, and I'm just like, man, I love this. I'm going to make you guys feel old real quick. Because my first movie I saw in theaters was like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. That was the first movie I ever saw in theaters. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So wait, there's a scene where they cut the guy's fingers, and one of them, their head comes out, like a really long neck. Yep. And then their head comes out. Yep. Thing. That's John Carpenter's the thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that is... I saw that in my living room, but by six I had moved out of that house, so I'm having a hard time reconciling this. Well, the movie comes like 82. So you're maybe you've displaced your living room. Sorry, I will come back and I will... Uh, I will I'll, I'll update my, my <laughs> timeline. Yeah, I'll update my timeline. My first horror movie I saw... It was Body Parts. That was the first body part. Body Parts? That was the first horror movie I've ever seen. That's like a fucking crazy-ass movie, right? Yeah, that was the first one I saw. I had the poster on my wall. That's the first horror movie you ever saw was Body Parts? Yeah. I saw that. Like, why? I I don't know. I was was, was with my babysitter. That's so weird. That's when I saw movies. Yeah, so no, my babysitter. Uh, yeah, my babysitter used to get naked like all the fucking too. time in my house. Mine too. All my friends would come over. She's fucking butt ass naked. How old was she? She or was. Eight. I was <laughs> no. I was probably like fifth grade, sixth grade, and I think she was in like eighth or ninth grade. What? Well, my parents worked overnight at some point in our life. Both my parents worked overnight, so they hired this babysitter. Who's about my age. Oh, really? Nice. That's a good idea. She had... Yeah, the girl, the girl that we, what used to watch me her banging body. She used to make out on the couch all night. All night long. But my brother go to bed, and we just make out on the couch, and we just... Yeah. Just do it, man. Just go at it. And one night, my brother caught me, and then told my parents. And How old were you? Did, did she get paid that night? I was like 12, 13. Uh, yeah, I, maybe, I don't know. She was double dipping. Well, he didn't tell her until the next, she was already gone when he told her. He was like, I saw, oh. she held kissing, uh, I don't know what her name was. can't even remember her name. And I was like, no, you didn't. And he's like, she had her Big. shirt on. And my mom was like, what the hell? Oh, the mom lost her mind. I was like, my dad, and he was like, good job, son. <laughs> Dude, and, he, so and it funny. was like, is that true? I was like, yeah. And he's like, Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Very nice. Ah. How much? Okay. <laughs> yes, this oh is man! Like, Your Highness, have you seen it? I imagine this is yeah. something you'd watch. <coughs> That's He's so busy making videos. Does anyone watch <laughs> Sandman? The series Sandman? No. I'm hearing all this My stuff about it. My wife watched this. It's fantastic. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking I think I'm gonna get a watch that. So my um, the week before I left my. Uh, Entire family went on vacation, and they left me at home, which was great because I, I got to come home and watch something that wasn't like kids programming. And uh, I caught up on Stranger Things. Well, I watched mm-hmm. Multiverse of Madness. Actually, everything we talked about that recent, like I saw during ah. during that week, because that was like <laughs> that was my week. Right? Oh. Okay. 
I'm the worst host. Joe. What? When when you get down, what do you do? To, like what what? Tell me a project you did to pick yourself back up. Uh, I don't get down. Mm-hmm. Tony! Uh, <laughs> Chris! I don't get down either, man. I won't, like, let, my, I won't let myself. I fucking I, love my life. I, well, I don't. I, you I quit for it. four years. Well, I quit back then. My, my, back. My, After seeing Evil, which was the biggest budget I ever had, I realized that I felt like the crew was on my movie because they were just grabbing a paycheck. <laughs> and I like working with people that are passionate about yeah. what they do. And it was very frustrating. It was the worst set I was ever on. Um, evil. We had to we, we had to bribe our DP to like work, <laughs> to like shoot a movie. And I'm just like, what the fuck was his name? Chris Rich? No, I'm not gonna say his name on here. Anyway, so after that whole experience, good policy. Never talk bad about anybody. After all that experience. After that experience, and I was in a new relationship. And, Why are you uh, having me on the show? <laughs> Which brings me to you, Adam. <laughs> anyway, I was in a new relationship, and I was just like, you know what? I don't even want to fucking do this anymore. Like, I just didn't want to do it. So I just stopped, and, you know. And then uh, four years later, my friend Sean asked me if I would shoot a movie for him. He said, hey, I got a movie I'm doing. I need someone to shoot it. I was like. Sure, why not? Let's do it. So I shot that for him, and then I kind of started getting the, That's right. the bug well, again. Was it in residence? No, it was um, Heartbreak Killer. Oh. What, what is the budget for movies now, like for the small films? My movies? Um, we try to make them under three grand. Three grand? Yeah. Yeah, hey, I got that kind of investment. <laughs> sold. No, the movie we're doing, we're actually shooting a movie this Saturday. Um, Joe's in it. Starts. Joe's yeah. gracing us to be in our movie. Yeah, he only is. Happy. It's be it's be no, it's funny. We kind of, we kind of, we kind of jab each other because uh, well, he doesn't understand. Well, 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 no, it's just because we're on, we're on different plans. Like he has big budgets, so he has people that like do things for him. Mm-hmm. I do everything myself. So he wants me to send a call sheet out, and I'm like, I have the whole fucking schedule in our group on Facebook. Just go in there and find it. It tells you everything you need to know. And so yesterday he emails me. He goes, hey, can you send me the address uh, for, uh, or no, he says, where's the shoot schedule at since you refuse to make a call sheet? I said, here it is since you refuse to go in the group. So we just hit little, you know, little jabs at each other. But anyway, we're, we're shooting this weekend and um, our budget's $2,800. Uh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we try to make them as, as good as they possibly can. I mean, there's obviously, when you don't have the money, there's obviously flaws and stuff that could be better if you had more money. But um, I enjoy doing smaller stuff because there's no risk, hardly. We always make our money back, usually. Do um, you sell them to distribute? Uh, we, we usually self-distribute. Like, we'll do a, a Indiegogo or like Kickstarter. Uh, to raise our budget back, and then we will um, sell DVDs and Blu-rays online, digital downloads, stuff like that. And then I've been burned in the past by distributors, so I'm kind of like gun shy about them. But I'm I'm starting to look into this company called Film Hub, and because you have to be on streaming now because the, the DVD Blu-ray market's kind of gone to shit, which is what we used to depend on. Um, so I had an interview with this guy at Film Hub. I talked to him a little bit about how it worked. And basically what they do is they take your movie, you upload it, and then they will shop it to all the streaming sites. And if, you know, whoever picks it up, that's who pays you. And it's an 80-20 split, which is amazing, because usually they're like 50-50. And what I like about it is if it's not performing for you, you can just tell them, yeah, I don't want to be on Film Hub anymore, and it's down within a week. So there's no, like, licensing deal. There's no contracts. So they put it on streaming sites. They get paid. You get paid. So I'm trying that. I'm actually halfway through uploading the movie because it's a pain in the ass. Like, the images have to be a certain size and a certain <laughs> resolution and all this crap. It's horrible. Horrible. Yeah. So um, we're going to try that and see what happens. So this is the first movie I'm in the hole on. 
I'm like 800 bucks in the it? hole. No, the the last like, one. I gotta the, feed Joe. The so, cheerleader. Cheerleader, cheerleader move. Coffee should be yeah. about 9% of any, yeah. any creative budget. Right. Yeah, the cheerleader move, I'm like 800 bucks in the hole. I spent too much time. That's why when I have money to go to a real studio, the first thing that happens when you walk into the Starbucks. <laughs> I, I will come for it. It'll be, I want it to be a running Starbucks, but through the door is the studio. Like, regular people come into the Starbucks. And they, like, pull a secret, like, cup yeah, down and, and like, opens up the wall Starbucks. and you walk in. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That way I can get Starbucks free every day. They got a location set up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or, did they franchise it? The Starbucks? Yeah. Hashtag yes. Starbucks. Franchise me. <laughs> I know that no, no. You just get a, you just get a franchisee. <laughs> <laughs> you you got to get, get a partnership with a franchisee. You just get a <laughs> show. We saw your hashtag. Here's a Starbucks. <laughs> Love it. Uh, you don't know. We walk in. We walk in here next week, and there's a Starbucks in there. Yeah, people too. I mean, people <laughs> said crazy stuff. Amazing, amazing things Sure. Yeah. Okay, I have I have another gift. For you you brought us a bunch of stuff today. I got you. you know what I, mean? I got you a gift. Yeah. This, this is the most special gift. That I Other than this beautiful. Wait, okay, but I got into the story. So what I did to kind of pull myself out of my little um, funk, right, is I, 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 I pulled my Nintendo out of storage so I could classically train my children. And while they're sitting there playing, just like my father held up, I'm like, how did they make one of these things? So I started researching. I found uh, there was a... I think all the way back to the time. Breakfast. Lunch. What is that? That's what I said. Yeah, so you're right. How do you do it? Yeah. So I'm like, how did they do it? And I, I started looking, and um, there's some people in this homebrew community who are actually making new games for that 1985, like a 35-year-old video. Oh, shit. I'm like, okay, this guy, uh, Joe cool. Granado, wrote a documentary about his quest to build his childhood dream game, and the steps and all these like crazy people he met to go build this thing. And I, I kind of stopped this guy, and I'm like, he only lives like an hour and a half ago. He's like down in Sarasota. Wow. Excuse me. So, um... You're just at his house. Hey! Hi! I want to make a Nintendo hey, game! <laughs> <laughs> so he, he, um, he did a Kickstarter for his game, and then he realized that he needed to build some tools to make his game faster. And then when he's making the tools, he's like, well, everyone's going to want these tools. So he, um, there's like there's existing tools like Shiro's tool, and like, there's always like dev, like, like uh, homebrew dev tools. But he built this thing called Nestmaker, which is... Um, it's like a, an asset manager, because the, the old hardware is really weird. Like, it, it doesn't work like modern computers. So he built these, like, this, this tool that's like, amazing for like organizing your code and putting the graphics together. So he ran a... He built the code for code. Yeah, he, he built a, a creator to help make it easier to make it a guessing. So um, he ran a, a competition called the Bite Off, where you had 30 days to build a new game for the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment. The old 1985 one, and he sold flashers so you can actually flash boards and put cards together. So I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I, I always wanted to make a Nintendo game, right? Yeah. So uh, I didn't think at age uh, 40, whatever, so I'd be learning. Uh, what, two, this is 2019. Yeah. I don't want to get any more age I'm questions wrong that. on your show. <laughs> 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 I'm like it from that last one. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> like my entire life's been a lie. I've been like I was like shaving my kid. I'm like, I was four when I saw her. No, he's, he's he, I have to go home and apologize. It's it's I lied to you. It's okay. You, watch, you can watch Evil Dead when, when you're eight. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. He turns eight on Saturday, so it's fine. Oh, is it Evil Dead birthday? That would be great for you. So my daughter's named after Evil Dead the character, but my two boys are named after uh, Battle. And, and uh, David's character from Army of Darkness, or no, yeah, yeah, the yeah. girlfriend. No. No, it's the sister in the remake. Remake. Yeah, it was. Oh, Ash. I didn't see the remake because it doesn't exist in my world. Yeah. I like the Dragon Ball movie. I live in a different <laughs> timeline. Yeah. Where yeah. they never made stupid. I live in the one where that that exists with the Dragon Ball movie. <laughs> well, the, the yeah. that that Evil Dead doesn't exist, and the 2009 Friday the 13th doesn't exist. That would be really. Yeah. 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 So that's the world. So I built a, an NES game in 30 days for this thing. And I called it Artix and I did Living Dead. And I was so proud of it. And it was terrible. It was just, it was like, <laughs> I didn't realize how terrible it was. You make video games? <laughs> and, uh, well, to my credit, on Alibaba, you can go find a bootleg version of it for sale for like 12 bucks. So did they <laughs> make it into like an actual cartridge? They or did. is it like a. Yeah. Really? No but, shit. 
But I was so cool. hyped because like like I, I was so on fire for making this game that we had a Friday, um, April first coming up, April Fools. Yeah. And I, I went uh, to you know we do these jokes in all the games every year, and uh, Alina's like, okay, what do you want to do for the, the April Fools this year? I'm like, okay, I say we announce the next Adventure Quest game. Exclusively for the 1985 Nintendo. <laughs> right. She's like, oh, okay, that's pretty funny. I'm like, but then we actually do it. She's <laughs> like, I haven't seen that fire in your eye in a couple of years. If this is what it takes. Okay, oh, how long is it going to take? I said, two months. <laughs> <laughs> See anyone laughing in here? This is the, that's the laughter of experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so two years later. <laughs> yeah. Well, what happened? Yeah. Oh, man. Another gift? Here we go. I feel like here's Santa Claus. Here you go. Oh there my god! Now, <clears throat> this is for the NES? Yeah, I'll go there. Uh, okay, well, I want the cameras. Do you have an NES? I don't. Dude, those things are hard to find. Yeah. Well, retro gaming is big right now. I don't see those anywhere. I see Xbox 360s, PS2s, PS3s all the time. I cannot, I've, I hardly ever see any. Whoa, whoa, it's a gold disc. Dope. Wow. Look Man, at that's that. Cool. That is really cool. Now I gotta go buy it. Now we gotta find an NES. Yeah, it's got the, you don't have to. I'll, I'll, I, I, I wanted you to have this. But it's, it's got the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. This is awesome. So I, I built the game painstakingly over two years, and the players were, were kind of mad that I wanted to do this. And, they, and, and rightfully, they, they want me to focus on the games they care most about. Can you hear him? Of course. Yeah. Can you hear this game? Can you hear me? Yes. Is that mic on? Yeah. Oh, you can speak that. Yeah. So <clears throat> my schedule for the years I was making this. So I'd wake up, get the kids to school, go do my normal work day, come home, yeah. have dinner at 12 a.m. at time, put the kids to bed, so at 9.30, get right to work on this game until about 1 or 2 in the morning, wake up, repeat. Except for on weekends. And weekends, I all day work on the NES game. And I don't know if I thought you were going to say, I take my kids to the park. Yeah. <laughs> no? No, we work on the NES game. Kids work on the NES game. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I think it was a correct creative entrepreneur. Yes. So, you mean our children and us? Or life and life? Work life. Oh. You know, you, you do work until the wife gets mad, and you work on the wife until the work gets bad, and then, you know, <laughs> the health gets bad. Yeah. And you just, it's like, you just kind of keep yeah. It's like whack a hole. I would problem. potentially develop in all of those timelines. All of the ones. All of us. Everything. Yeah. Everything. everything Head on the shoulder. You know, fingers on a keyboard. Yeah, you know? we'll call it that. So, <clears throat> <laughs> I had such problems with this. Like, it was to go back in time. Well, one, in time. I didn't have time to make the game. Right. I, I said, I, I promised the players I would use the words. I do. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> he doesn't mute. He's just like, I'm sorry. He said, it will happen again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have two agents and managers? No. I've also never been on, like, the real movie TV. True. I mean, Same. I've <laughs> written, like, how many of you like, five books? Uh, I have a seven. I have a seven. Okay. Plus, I have more. I'm more <clears> than <throat> My publisher needs four more of my Team Adventure Club and five more of my Brawl War. You are in the And here you sit. And then I'm at, at <laughs> well, I'm at 38 screenplays, like I said. I want to be at 40 before you. I'm also trying to raise both. Jam pack a hoe, and what else? dollars for a feature film called Attack of Fish People. But now I've decided I kind of want to go a little bit your route. I'm going to try to raise 300000 that's my route? 200000 not 300000 Oh, well, <laughs> I wouldn't even know what to do with three hundred thousand dollars here. Thirty percent, and he's growing. It's thirty percent of his normal budget. Yeah. That's thirty percent. Go your route. 
<laughs> Dude, if I had three hundred thousand dollars, I would make a hundred movies. A hundred. So Think about that. That's a great idea. We should do that. Think about it. Hundred movies. One of them's bound to hit, right? A yeah. hundred movies. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, I'm in. I'm in. And then the movies get really I think I could pump out four a year. Yeah. Yeah. I could probably do. If, if we hired people, we could probably do more. Right. So how many is that? Well, many like, years? like you'd have to direct some, you'd have to direct some, and I'd have to direct some, and we'd actually get through like maybe twelve a year. Now I have that plan if I can raise ten. I can do five movies. But yeah, it would take twenty-five years for us to make a hundred movies. Not, not if all three of us put put in. Uh, yeah, we would have to I don't separate make our teams. Huh? I don't want to try to make twenty thousand dollars. That's a lot of expenditure. Work. It's a lot of work. It's work. But I got it down to a system, dude. Like, it's a science to me now. Well, like, it's, it's yeah, very now easy. Now it's not about the art. Now it's about the fact that you can just pump these out at this direction. Right. Well, I mean, I, obviously I would want to tell stories yeah. that I yeah. want to tell. But yeah. I'm at a point now, seriously, where after well, we after Death Blow... We have to collab with other writers, right. other screenwriters, other... Cause we're not going to have 100 ideas to just spit out. This is silly that you're actually thinking this no. is happening. I can do this. A hundred films? I can nah. do this. No way. It's not dramatic. But really, I'm after, in, after Death Blow, I'm kind of like tapped out. Like, I don't really have any ideas or stories I want to tell. Or <laughs> Well, we can talk about them off camera when we're done. He brought a, he's got like a he's prepared. He's getting a little um, long here. Okay, first of all, Why I say that is because uh, I recently got wind that uh, if I have 150, I can get something magical in Mexico. Okay. So I'm going to try to get 150 grand and have something magical in Mexico at 150. And shoot in New Mexico? Yeah, it has to be shot in New Mexico. And what is what are you going to make? Uh, well, I already have I already submitted the deck to the. Uh, it's called Dead House. It's got Paul Wilson. I, I want to do that one. It's got. Did you read it? Yeah. We were talking about doing it here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's got Paul Wilson and Eugenie Bonner up in yeah. it. Mm -hmm. uh, originally, I was going to shove me in it, but I'll play that role. And then, uh, you know, um, three other characters. There's only five people in the whole movie. Yeah, I definitely want to do that, that though. I can shoot that movie for nothing. And still have names in it. Yeah, sure. Like I said, I and that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't know what to do with $300,000. I would try to get people that are recognizable. Oh, we'll right. that That's why I got you in my movie because I want someone recognizable. <laughs> there's a new blade off that started on Friday. Okay. Is that Discord? Yeah. It's another uh, game you can publish in the video. Okay. So the theme was revival. I was sitting in the airport and I'm like, oh, these are the ideas that they made. Also, maybe they could use this Ghosting my ex-girl themes. Uh, a dating sim about not being dragged to the underworld by your ex's Revan Ants, back from the dead, a zombie ant infected with toxo toxoplasmosis zombie returns from the dead to seek revenge on the shoe and squash them. Skyborg, after crashing his plane to save his country, Rob Bossick undergoes a cutting edge surgery to save his life, merging him with the parts of very plane to pilot. Now he flies dangerous Lord Hell style missions for his government. It's like uh, Turbo Kid. Dead, dead Revan. Turbo Kid. So the kid turned into Romero, so Turbo what? Turbo T. Oh, I'm not. I can't hear you guys with these on. Turbo T. Okay, I heard so that. Good. That means that nobody can hear it, right? Turbo T. No, I can hear all of it. Okay. <laughs> I can hear everything. Um, dead, dead revulsion. 
Apparently, the dead can dance. So I'm an NPC, but I play against the unfair illusion style. And then I walk a linear story about the forbidden game, structure games, and tort loops. And they put it in the The Tower of Necromancy. You are Noxus the Necromancer. Not able to fight on your own. Learn to summon undead and clear these monsters and get your way to the top floor. And earn your place as the master of the tower. Monster Pong Girls. You are Frank Chadenstein. You must defeat Rome's gallery of fiendish universal monster style Pong King Sources to earn your way to the Model Monster College for Act. Which is really good because I didn't have any monster. I thought it was a ping pong. Hey, I was in a frat. <laughs> They're actually funny. Serial Killer. Parodies of our childhood serial mascots are back from the grave. They're great, Timmy. You're going to need to get shredded as wheat to bring down these grudges bosses and excellent swords of calcium will serve the world. <laughs> Twin Freaks. While investigating the murder of your sister, you find a dimensional portal, but it closed just as you step into it, trapping you in two dimensions at the same time. You must play two characters in a semi split screen with one controller to solve the mystery. Interesting. Squawk Fluster. You have reopened a haunted video rental store and unknowingly rented out first videos. Now it's up to you to get them back and save your town. Each movie is a parody of a horror classic. Also, maybe Blood Buster, Dark Buster, Blood Buster, Fuck Buster, Boss Buster, Boo Buster, and. Okay, good. We got the video store for that one. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Amateur Zombie Surgeon. Like the game of operation that the zombies you have to extract the parts in order so these are all potential video games you're going to make? Well, since you were brainstorming things for this challenge, I'll see. Um, Hellblade. Yeah. <laughs> we should make a game called This Game is Dead, and anytime someone on Twitter or Facebook posts this, my game is dead. Then, no, this game is dead! Yeah? Love it. <clears throat> uh, back on the serial killer, uh, Frost Lynch Flakes, Captain Crunch, or Commander Crunch. Toucan's son of Sam. Cain <laughs> Killer. Boom this sounds like they would be like garbage pail kids. Yeah. All right. Frankenstein. Count Chokula. Cherry Onos. <laughs> I like the Count Chokula. Unlucky Charms. Unlucky Charms. The Cuckoo Pops. Fruit Juice Loops. And my personal favorite, Lice Krispies. Lice mm. Krispies. That could be going around town trying to kill a bunch of rocks. Yeah, you're like a miniature person fighting lice. It's kind of gross, but it's also kind of like helpful. <laughs> you shrink down to fight lice in some of your school. In someone's head. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got to avoid the mom picking the nits right. out of your head. Every once in a while, fingers like, come in to grab you. <laughs> Whoa! Fingers! <coughs> Ow! Sorry, man. He stepped on me! Are you in the nice view? I guess. I can't see him. <laughs> see, I, the only thing that sucks is I'm like, not looking at everybody while well, well, I'm looking at just all the cameras to do it. So it's a... Uh... Oppo. Opposite. Oh, so is it? Wait, like this? There you go. Wait, are you trying to get your finger in there? Uh, hey! 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 <laughs> hey! Get out of here! Get your finger out of my face! Oh. So, I love that you guys are all in person. Thank you. Yeah. We love being here. We love being in person. Yeah, you gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do that. A lot of people do the Zoom call. It's just so <laughs> different, weird. So I like in person. Ready? Three, two, yeah. Got it. <laughs> so, what websites do you want to plug right now? Uh, all of them. Go to artix.com and check out all of our games. Artix.com. A R T I X. Dot com. Dot com. You can also go to aq.com. Easier to remember, too. It's AQ. AQ? Thank you. Then there's an AQ3D at the 3 It's a lot. It's a lot to have all these websites. It is. I have them too. I have all of them. Good every movie, com. everything's there. Every movie I have has a, a dot .com. Every bit like Red Gear Studio. And are they like running websites or yeah. just a do you, really? Yeah, they're all up. And you pay for all of these fucking websites? Yeah, Red Gear's is up. Well, 
Some of them have been kind of like put in red gears now. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Why don't you just have your meme website? I had a site a long time ago called Nerd Shuttle. That was a a podcast show. And uh, I did that to Ken Anthony. I was like, I can't run with it anymore. Yeah. You know? So. Hmm. So, um... Thank you for, for coming on my show. Is there anything you want to tell the audience before we wrap up today? Uh, I can't wait to come back. Do you think Letterman, like, ha- had a- anyone ever, like, come on a show and just, like, take it over? Oh, Probably yeah. Robin Williams, yeah. right? Pretty Robin Williams pretty, pretty much took everybody's show over. Yeah, took the whole show over. Right. You know, yeah, he was. Uh, what's his name? Andy Kafka? Kaufman? Kaufman. No. Andy Dick? The, the stand-up comedian who just said, just died. He had a cane habit. Andy Dick. Andy no. Dick. He's still um, alive, unfortunately. Um, Gilbert Godfrey. No, fat guy. Fat guy. Uh, uh, I don't know. Anyways, he got kicked off a lot, and he was never allowed back on. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Kaufman got kicked off, he was never allowed back on. Well, they did that thing with Jerry Lawler. Yeah, yeah. where he got beat up. Yeah, basically. Did yeah. Drew Barrymore get booted when she showed her tits? No, he actually sent her back a lot. <laughs> <laughs> For that reason. <laughs> <I bet. laughs> For that same reason. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna want that every once in a while on the right. show. I imagine you're gonna want some to show the tits. I guess I'll do it now. Too much. Too much. Uh, well, seriously, your... thank, thank you for allowing me to come on and hang out with you guys. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. 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 It's wonderful. And, and hang on to that. Yeah, that's a rule from now on. If you have a guest in the studio, you gotta bring gifts. Like, that's a requirement. Okay, I'm gonna say, when you come on our show, and bring and gifts. Bring gifts for okay. everybody. Yeah. So in, in closing, <laughs> the, the three rules. Cardio. <laughs> three <laughs> the three rules that all creative entrepreneurs should should follow. One, always make the next thing you do better than the last thing you did. Two, That's never good. give up. Yep. Three, when all else fails, go back to number one. Thank you for having me, guys. And then, there it is. Thank Read you. It. That's a wrap. Thank you. you. Adam, Joe, Chris. My name is Tony. Thank you for joining us. Killer Collab Podcast. See you next week. All, all links will be in the description below. Bye. Bye.